Hello friends, today we are going to see how to integrate ResaPay Payment Gateway with Reseller Club. So first, click on Settings, then Finance and Billing, then Payment Gateway. Now click on List or Add. Now click on Add a Gateway. So now we have to add a payment gateway. We can see here ResaPay is not available here. So now just go below and click on add it now. So first we have to give gateway URL. Now what is gateway URL? Gateway URL is a landing page URL on which reseller club send our customers from their server to our server to process the payment. So in our case the gateway URL is just like this. Here this is our domain name then after the folder name the folder which contain our all payment gateway files including the landing page in our case our landing page is index.php so let's copy it and paste it here here don't forget to mention http or https it depend on your hosting server settings. If you have configured SSL certificate with your server, then you have to mention HTTPS, otherwise you can mention HTTP only. Now it is recommended to use HTTPS or use SSL certificate with your hosting servers, otherwise the browser will show not secure in URL section. Now just add the name of a gateway. The gateway name will be displayed on your cart of a reseller club. Now the menu settings you can change or you can modify as per your preference. Now click on save settings. Now here you can see we have successfully created the reserve pay payment gateway. Now click on manage. Here we have generated a key. Copy this key. Now let's make changes in our reserve pay payment gateway files. This is the whole script for our Razer Pay payment gateway. Here we just have to modify one file that is config.php. Here we have to add a key that we got from reseller club. So let's just copy this and paste it here. Now the very first field we can see here key ID. This key ID you will get from Resape as well as the same the key secret that is also you will get from Resape Payment Gateway. Now remember the Resape Payment Gateway will give you two type of keys. If you are using testing account then you will get the testing credential and if you are using production servers so you will get a production key. While you are testing your payment gateway, keep in mind to use the credential of a Razer Pay payment gateway for testing servers. Now after adding key id and key secret and the key that we got from a reseller club, save the document. Now after saving the document, we have to upload all the files to our gateway URL. So just upload our files to servers. Now remember you have to upload the files to the gateway URL that we have mentioned in our reseller payment gateway configurations. Now we have uploaded our files to our servers. On our super site we already logged in as client to purchase. Now let's take a product into cart.
Now, we can see here, we have added a product into a cart. Now, we have to check out using recipe payment method option. So just click on recipe, then click on pay on. Now, we will redirect it to our landing page. Currently, we are using the testing servers. So, we are using our testing credential to check our payment gateway of a reservoir. Now, click here to check and continue. Now, submit. Now, click on pay now. Here, we have to fill the details. Now click on success. Let's see what result we will get. As you can see, the payment status is captured. So we have successfully got the payment. Now click on click here to continue. Now we will be redirected back to reseller club card. So you can see here, we got the message that we got a payment success. So now, you can see here, we add another product to our cart. Now click on recipe, then click on payment. Now this time, we will check how the payment flow will work in a failure time. Now click on pay now. Now let's say the customer's payment will got failure. Now you can see here the payment gateway fee. Now customer may try here with different payment options available. Otherwise, if a customer want to return to cart then customer have to click click here go back to cart now we will redirect back to the server here you can see the message that transaction failed 